Hi, we bring you back again. Welcome to today's class. Today we have an algebra math problem on the board. How do we solve this algebraic equation? We have three equations and we have to solve for three variables. Yeah, the question is x plus y plus z equals to 6, xy plus yz plus xz equals to 11, xyz equals to 6. Then how we get the value of x and y and z in this equation. So if you're new here, this is Online Mass TV. Without much wasting of time, let's go into today's challenge. All right, so we take our solution. Solution. Now I'm going to show you a trick you must have known or you have not come across. So what we do here, from these three equations, we have to form a polynomial degree of order from this. So how do we go about this? Look at the trick here. So let's form it in P. Okay, so we're going to have here P to the power of 3. The first expression here is S plus Y plus Z. So we're going to have here minus bracket X plus Y plus Z close bracket into p to the power of 2 then the next one will take us plus then bracket the second equation here is x y plus your y z plus um x z close bracket into our p all right then the next one will take minus x y z equal to zero which is this. Surprised? So we can go ahead and do our substitution. The value here is given to be 6, here is given to be 11, and here 6. So if we substitute, this will not give us p to the power of 3 minus 6p squared, there plus 11p, there minus 6, everything equal to 0. Now you see, we now have a polynomial of third order degree. So how do we do this? We use the trial by error method to get the first factor to this polynomial equation. And we discover that the first factor here is uh, P minus 1. So P minus 1 is a factor. P minus 1 is a factor. Okay, so if P minus 1 is a factor. In other words, the value of p equal to 1 is substituted into this expression, which gives us 0. Let's try that. If we send this to 0, that means p is equal to positive 1. So if we have here positive 1, here we'll be left with 1. Here we have 1 times 6, which is um, a 6. Then 1 times 11 will still give us, uh, sorry, uh, 11 times 1 will give us um, 11. So automatically we're going to have 1 minus 6, which is minus 5, minus 5 plus 11 will give us plus 6, plus 6 minus 6 will give us 0. So it is shown that P minus 1 is a factor. So what we do here, we are going to use the long division method to um, get the second and the third um, root from this equation here. Okay, so from here, let's see here, using the long division method, using the long division division method okay so we could as well use the synthetic method but here let's go with the long division method that is familiar to us. so from here let's rule out here all right so yeah let's take our this is our divisor this is our dividend our dividend is p to the power of three minus six p squared there plus 11p then minus 6 let's cover this well all right so we start our division p dividing p to the power of 3 this will give us here p to the power of 2 we use this to multiply everything here so this will give us p to the power of 3 minus p squared rule of and subtract so this, this will leave. This will give us plus. So here we are left with minus 5p squared. Okay, bring this next term down. So we have here plus 11p. 
Okay, we use this to divide this again. This will now give us minus 5p. Use 5p, so the, the whole of this 5p, to multiply this. So this times this, this will give us here minus 5p square. Then we use this minus 5p to multiply this. This will now give us plus 5p. Okay, again, we rule off. So if we rule off, we subtract. So this time, this will give us plus 5p squared. So minus 5p squared plus 5p squared. Again, this leaves the system. So here we have minus, then 11p, then minus 5p. This will give us plus 6p. So here we have 6p left here. We bring out the last term, which is minus 6 here. Again, we use this to divide this. If we use this to divide this, we are left with 6. So this will now give us plus our 6. Okay, so what we do, we use this to multiply this. So we now have here 6p. Then this time this will give us minus 6. We rule off again. So we subtract. This, this will leave. So here gives us plus because minus times minus gives us plus. So again, this, this leaves. So we now have zero, zero. This is our quadratic equation now. So we cannot bring out our expression, which will now give us p minus one into um, p squared minus five p plus six, everything equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratically. And in solving this quadratically, we take the factor of six. So out of the factors, we pick two of them that we will multiply together, we give us pluses, add together, we give us minus five, and that will give us minus two, minus three. So we can now solve this quadratically, our p squared minus two p minus three p plus six equal to zero. Because minus 2p minus 3p will give us minus 5p. So we now bracket this, they equally we bracket this. What is common here is just p, so we have p bracket, p is left. If you use this to divide this, minus 2p, the minus, what is common here is just 3, so we have 3 bracket. Here you left with p minus your 2, everything equal to 0. Okay, so let's check this out now. What we have here and what we have here are the same. So we now end up having P minus two, bracket, 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 our P minus three, everything equal to zero. So we have the first factor here already, second factor and the third. All right, so let's rule off again. So our first factor here, we have your P minus one, close bracket there, P minus two and P minus three everything equal to zero. So it does implies that our P1 equal to one, P2 equal to two, and P3 is equal to three. So if these are the values of our P1, P2, P3, so they are equivalent to our X and Y, Z. So therefore, this now implies that our P1 is equal to our X, which is equal to one. Then P2 is equal to our Y, which is equal to two, and our P3 is equal to Z, which is equal to three. Now, if you put all these values into equation one, equation two, equation three, they will all satisfy the original equation. Okay, so this might be end to this algebraic math challenge. If you lost something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, try and subscribe. Subscribing will not take anything from you. Thanks for being there. Bye for now.